Inside Drag Racing coverage of the SEMA Show is brought to you by Summit Racing Equipment, the World Speed Shop. By ARP, the world leader in racing faster technology. And by Moroso Performance Products. Moroso, race proven. Continuing our coverage here on Inside Drag Racing of the SEMA Show, the biggest trade show of its kind in all the world. We'll check in with the people from Zex because what's the easiest, cheapest, and most efficient horsepower you can get for the least amount of money? Nitrous oxide. Who's the leader? Zex. You've got a new Generation 3 system, Matt? Yeah, uh, Ted, for all the Gen 3 applications like your F-Body Camaros, Corvettes, uh, we've got a new high output nitrous system for these guys that is just incredible. Uh, adjustable from 100 to 250 horsepower. It's got full uh, automatic uh, electronic activation off your TPS switch. It's an incredible kit. It makes a lot of power. It's easy to install. Ideal for street strip cars. For guys like me, the easy to install part. Easy instructions come with it. About anybody can do it. Oh, absolutely. You know, these kits generally will install oh, in about two to three hours. It's real simple. And again, our idea is we want advanced technology that automatically controls the fuel for the nitrous so it's never too rich, never too lean. Our special nozzle design does that. And the electronic activation works off your factory electronics, your throttle position sensor, really works nice, it's clean, it's safe, and great for uh, real drag race type environments. All right, now you said it's adjustable, like 150 to 250. How do you adjust it? It's real simple. There's only two little jets. I mean, literally, you can make the tuning ch change in a matter of about a minute and a half. Two little nuts, take them off, put two new jets in it. You've instantly gone from 100 to 200 horsepower, 250, whatever you want. All right, and we get everything we need here. Even got the arming activation switch, the tank, everything. It's a complete kit. So basically, when you get a Zex Nitrous kit, every nut, every bolt, even tie straps come with this thing. Everything you need to install the kit and make it look clean, professional installation and work at optimum for the racing use, it's perfect. It's okay, guys, there you are. We come and find you the latest thing here on Inside Drag Racing. I'll put up a website at the end of the show in case you want more information. Thanks, Ted. If it rotates, you can balance it. Now, how important are camshaft and crankshaft applications and balancing? So very important. Mr. Randy Neal joins us from CWT Technologies. And, uh, you know, what do we got going on here? Well, basically what we do is with crankshaft, we look at this in a three-plane event. We look at the left side, the right side of crank. We want to find the CG moment of that crankshaft. Ours is the only third-plane balancer on the market today. And what we've done here, we have an example where this crankshaft is set up so that when we turn the screen, you'll see right over here we turn the TDC. And under normal circumstances, we would sit there with a drill and try to correct right here on the rod pin. This particular application would be inappropriate. So what we have to do is add heavy metal. Now, by coming over to the screen and opening up a new toolbox, I can get let the machine know exactly where the counterweight edge is by touching here and then rotating the crank and touching over here, and it will give me a solution. You can see by putting a single slug in, we're very, very close. In fact, the yellow-green light is telling us exactly where the next spin will end up. Now, in doing this, a single slug will correct this, and no uh, mental gymnastics on way of the technician at all. So really, it's all taken care of right there. You know exactly what to be able to do. Balance is important here. What about camshaft profiling and balancing? Well, a crank and a camshaft are both spinning, but of course the camshaft is at a half-speed event. Now, a lot of people don't want to do anything there because it's hard to correct the cam, but they're missing a wonderful opportunity. A lot of the problems with the valve frame, whether it's collapsing the springs or whatever happens, you're going to find a situation that is improved by eliminating these forces. Thanks very much. Ted, as you can see, if it rotates, you can balance it, and that gives you improved performance. You know, I've been rebuilding engines for over 50 years, and one of the most important things is when you get your engine ready to go, you want to make sure that it's right. Well, Sean from PRW Warehouse here has built a device that we had at our shop for years, homemade, yeah. but here's a nice universal one, very inexpensive. Tell us about it, Sean. This is definitely the way to go if you do engines in your shop and install them in the cars. A absolutely. Uh, these days, space is at a premium, so we designed a stand that was meant to be folded and collapsed down with the fuel cell and the radiator still attached, um, so for easy storage. Plus, it's got eight-inch uh, casters in the rear, six-inch casters in front. You can wheel it up on a, on a trailer, um, put it in the back of your truck, whatever you need to do to get your engine around. Um, it starts at $11.99 at the uh, full retail. Uh, it's powder-coated, lasts a long time, nice and durable, and will adapt to most inline sixes and domestic V8s. Um, we tried to make this as adaptable as possible to uh, any domestic type engine. Uh, we've had some great success with it. We've got it in a number of schools nationwide. 
and uh, we look forward to getting this out to all the jobbers uh, across the United States. You know, it's, it's, it's a device that any shop that builds engines and wants to make sure that that engine's right before it goes into the car needs one of these stands.